Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at finding the directional derivative of a function here, f equals x, y plus y, z plus x, z. We want to find the directional derivative at this point in the direction of another point. So we're at a point 1, negative 1, 3, and we want to find the directional derivative uh, in the direction from that point towards this point, 2, 4, 5. So the first thing we need to do is create a vector that goes from p to q. So vector v is going to go from p to q. So to get a vector that goes from a point p to a point q, we take the coordinates of q and subtract the coordinates of p. So that's 2 minus 1, 4 minus negative 1, and then 5 minus 3. So that's going to give us a vector in the direction that we want to take the directional derivative. So that's going to be 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So that is the direction we want to take the directional derivative at this point 1, negative 1, 3. Well, we can't just take the directional derivative in the direction of any vector. It has to be a unit vector. So we need to make this a unit vector. So u is going to be the unit vector that we use for our directional derivative. So that's going to be v divided by its magnitude. So this is going to be 1 over the square root. Let's see, magnitude of v would equal square root of 1 plus 25 plus 4. So that's going to be square root of 30 in the denominator. And so each element is going to be divided by square root of 30. All right, so that is our unit vector. Now, we want to take the directional derivative for part a and the directional derivative du of f at 1, negative 1, 3, by definition, is going to be the gradient of the function evaluated at the point where we want to take the directional derivative dotted with the unit vector. All right, so now we need the gradient of our function. So what is the gradient of our function? The gradient of our function is going to be, we'll differentiate with respect to x. We get x plus z, sorry, get y plus z. We differentiate with respect to x. First term gives me y, last term gives me z. Now, same thing for differentiate with respect to y, I get x plus z. Differentiate with respect to z, I get x plus y. So now, evaluate the gradient at this point. So the gradient of the function at the point 1, negative 1, 3 is going to be. So I plug in y equals negative 1, z equals 3. So negative 1 plus 3. x equals 1, y equals or z equals 3, so 1 plus 3, and then 1 plus negative 1. So the gradient at this point is going to be 2, 4, 0. So the directional derivative is going to be 2, 4, 0 dotted with the unit vector. So I take the dot product of this vector 2, 4, 0 with this vector u. That's going to give me 2 over square root of 30 plus 20 over square root of 30 plus 0. And that reduces to 22 over square root of 30. And that's our directional derivative, part A. All right, so for part B, it says find the maximum rate of change and the direction in which it occurs. The max rate of change is always the magnitude of the gradient. So the max rate, so the max rate of change is always the magnitude of the gradient. So the magnitude of the gradient is going to be square root of 2 squared, which is 4, plus 4 squared, which is 16. So square root of 20 is the max rate of change. The direction in which it occurs is just the direction of the gradient. So the direction is just 2, 4, 0.
right? Sometimes it might want that to be a unit vector. It just depends on the problem and what the problem says, but that's pretty much how we do it.